Booker T. stood frozen for a long time, listening to the hiss of cars passing along the rain-wet street. Rain dripped on the back of his neck, making him squirm. It wasn't until he heard an angry shout somewhere far off and the slam of a distant door that he moved into action. He jumped completely into the dumpster this time, managing to stay upright among the mounds of trash. To hell with his clothes, they were ruined already anyway. At least the half of the lid that was still closed kept most of the rain off of him. The watch wasn't hard to find again. The severed limb, real, no denying it this time, this was somebody's real frickin' arm, had been cut off just below the elbow. He shuddered as he pulled the watch off over the bloody stump and dropped the body part with a thud. Shoving the prize into his pocket, he swallowed hard, trying to keep down the bile that kept rising his throat. Once his nausea was under control, he started searching for his wallet. Refuse from the broken bag, the one the arm had been in, lay strewn across the top of the rest. It was impossible to tell which bag was the one he dropped in there, so he grabbed the closest one and untied that first. Nothing. The next one was too light to be Mrs. C's, so he just shoved that aside. When he found one with the right weight, he reached with both hands and yanked as hard as he could. The bag slid free, dislodging some of the loose rubbish that had been piled on top of it. Banana peels, empty cans, and coffee grounds spilled on his shoes, along with something round and heavy that landed on his toe with a crushing blow. Booker looked down, straight into the bulging eyes of a severed head, smiling at him with a familiar grin, one gold earring half torn from the lobe. <laughs>